before we get into that you already know what to do i'm gonna tell you anyways don't forget to leave a like don't forget to leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe if you like to see more of me and my baldness don't forget to follow all my social medias which will be in the intro after this and in the description down below and let's get it let's get it let's go It's been a long time since I've uh, filmed a nice little chat. I have my AirPods in because of the mic, just so you can kind of hear me better. But um, it's been a <laughs> it's been a hot minute since I've uh, sat down and filmed a video. I hope that's not that loud. I have it playing. I don't know why I have it playing, but I hope it's not that loud. Okay, I need to moisturize my face because this looks disgusting. I look like I got some, but before we start that welcome back to my channel if you're still subscribed even though i've been posting or welcome to my ch okay i got it <laughs> or welcome to my channel if you are new sorry it's like taking me so long to film i'll kind of explain a little bit why in this video um it's just kind of like a update on life as well as like how i feel about this quarantine thing and it's also a get ready with me because i'm about to film some more stuff today so if you see more videos of me in the same shirt that's why so i'm going to continue moisturizing my face um i still use the little clean and clear one but i use it at night and i use this one in the morning so as you guys know everybody's in like quarantine or whatever um in virginia they haven't really called it quarantine but it's like a stay at home order basically to where you can't leave um low-key this quarantine has been i keep i'm gonna just call it quarantine because that's basically what it is but low-key it's been kind of taking a little a little toll on me well not really a toll but like i've just been in my head a lot because i'm in my room just kind of in here not really having a lot to do i'm gonna cut that out no i'm not everybody does it i'm just scratching it i'm not digging a booger whatever yeah it's just i'm just in my head a lot and so i get down a lot and it's just not a good mix but i'm been taking steps towards being productive and doing things that i enjoy hence why i'm filming right now because i enjoy filming i haven't done it in a long time i'm in the house so it's the perfect opportunity for me to film something one of the things this has made me realize is that i need to get out more because i don't really get out like that at all to be honest this is for work or i'm going to class so this has made me realize that i need to do more stuff because now that i'm like forced to be in the house it sucks i i want to go somewhere like different when like you have the option to stay home like when you have the option you would rather stay home but when you don't have the option to leave you want to leave like I'm tired of looking at this little room. <laughs> I'ma try not to hold this in front of my face because I know I be doing that. Aside from the whole quarantine thing, basically an update on my life because I've been gone as y'all seen. Yeah, I think the last video I filmed was when we went to the concert, which was before spring break. <laughs> so been, it's been quite a while. Um, I haven't really done much trying to deal with school then going to work really the same old thing i just i kind of stopped making videos because i wanted to focus more on school because i felt like i wasn't balancing them i was like more worried about oh what's when what video am i gonna film next rather than like doing homework and stuff which is bad so like i kind of like took a break to kind of get my mind right get my priorities right but we good now you know what i'm saying just this online stuff is just not it for me i cannot do online classes i can't because i forget about them easily it's real easy for me to forget about an online class because i don't have to like get up get ready and go to it just a matter of me getting up and opening my computer and i don't know about y'all but I don't really like getting up at 8.30 in the morning to wait until 9 for my class to start for me to open my computer and listen to my teacher read off the PowerPoint. I 
I, it's just not my ideal type of thing. So that's why I don't like online classes. Plus I feel like they're like overloading the work now that it's online, if that makes sense. Like they're just kind of throwing all the work at you and you got all these tests and exams and quizzes and projects and stuff you have to do in like week. And it's like, but if we were in actual class, we'd have more time. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I'm kind of confused as to why they they kind of shortened the semester because we could have kept it going until when it was supposed to end, it would have just still been online. But I don't know, <laughs> that ain't got nothing to do with me. That's where I'm at with that Zoom stuff. I, I can't, <laughs> but we gonna stick it out though. Cause we almost done. It's April now. Time is going by so fast. I feel like it was just February and now it's April. Like damn, they're about to be the middle of April already. It's gonna be my birthday month, July, before I know it. And I'm praying that I can go outside. Disclaimer before I say anything because obviously this, I don't think we can say the name of it on video. Then again, I'm not monetized, so I don't give a fuck. Um, I don't think the coronavirus is like a joke or to be taken lightly because this thing is taking people, healthy people's lives. So it's a serious thing. So yeah, stay at home. <laughs> don't, so please social distance. I don't want to be like all those other YouTubers that be telling y'all to social distance, but do it so we can so this virus can go away faster and so we can get out faster because the longer y'all stay out and be hanging out with people the longer we gonna have to sit in the house that's just what that is but i just hope it's over by my birthday i'm gonna be 22 a bitch is gonna be 22 22 it's wild like that blows my mind i'm gonna be 22 years old i remember waiting for the day when i was gonna turn 18 waiting for the day when i was turning 21 and now i'm about to be 22 it's when i hit like 25 i'm gonna be like whoa and i feel like it's gonna come fast <laughs> sorry hopefully we'll be all good and okay to go out and i feel like after all this is over it's not gonna be the same because everybody's still gonna be on their toes because we're still gonna be like okay they said this virus is gone but is it really gone <laughs> oh yeah but the only way we could really know is to just wait and see oh also follow my tiktok oh my gosh i have been on tiktok and I've been, there was a point where I was posting like three TikToks a day, but then I kind of got off the app because I didn't want to get addicted to it. And I felt like it was going to get to the point where I was going to be making TikToks every day. And so I was just like, let me chill out. But it's so fun. Kills time because you're learning dances. <laughs> By the time you finish learning to dance, hours have passed. Like, not doing anything else, so might as well make some TikToks. Yes, I'll follow me on my TikTok. It'll be in the description, you know what I mean? Probably gonna film three videos today. One's gonna be a story time. I'm not gonna tell you what it's about because I don't know when it's gonna come out. Obviously, this one's gonna be first because it's like a life update type video. I'm in and I might film a playlist video also. Probably just wipe all that concealer off. Yeah, that's what's on my schedule today. Oh, also, I've been trying to do better at my sleeping schedule, but this quarantine has kind of fucked that shit up. I haven't been asleep yet, so. I woke up yesterday at like five something or like four in the afternoon because I was up all night. I had class at 9, I had an exam at 12, and then after that, I KO'd. <laughs> and I didn't wake up till like 4 or 5, and I've been up ever since. Crazy thing is, I don't feel tired. <laughs> I don't feel tired. I feel like I could do flips right now. Like, that's how much energy I have right now, which is insane. But I know once, like, 3, 4 o'clock hit, I'm going to crash. I'm going to try to stick it out until, like, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, so that way I can sleep through the night. Somebody told me to do melatonin, but I'm kind of nervous because I feel like if I take that every night, I'm going to start to rely on it. 
and I don't want to start to rely on it. I just want it to kind of help get me into the habit of a good sleeping schedule and then kind of like get, like stop taking it because I've done with my sleeping schedule, but I feel like that's not gonna happen. I feel like I'm gonna need it to go to sleep and I don't want that. So, <sighs> I don't know. I self-diagnosed myself with insomnia because I, I know what insomnia is. I'm pretty sure I have it because there's no reason why I should be up all night all the time like this there's no reason no reason but i do so i'm just about to kind of go in and like fill in the sparse areas because that one's darker than this one also i don't know if y'all noticed but your girl eyebrow hairs have grown <laughs> okay because we all know i didn't have no eyebrows Ooh, child. i still don't have no eyebrows but they're growing we're getting there just give me time okay um what's another uh update oh i <laughs> i am taken now don't know if i i don't think i mentioned that on my channel because i wasn't taken the last video i filmed that couldn't have been March. That had to have been January. That had to have been like Jan beginning of January, like December. That was December. The concert was December 8th. Sheesh. Yeah, I'm no longer a little single little Pringle anymore. You know what I'm saying? I got little man. Um, you'll probably see him on the channel because I'm probably gonna do the, not, not probably. I'm gonna do videos with him, but it's not gonna be like a, like a, it's not gonna turn into like a couple channel or nothing because i don't know if i want to do that <laughs> i don't i feel like that's something he would be down for but i don't know if i want to do that because i feel like couples channels ruins relationships and i can't speak for everybody you know it they probably don't it might make the relationship stronger i don't know but me personally social media is just draining and toxic sometimes and it's very negative and i just feel like i don't want to say i don't want to put my relationship out there because if he's going to be in my videos like my relationship's going to be out there but at the same time it isn't because you're not going to know like everything about it you know what i'm saying like he'll be in a few videos but i'm not going to like overload my channel with videos with him because this this channel is all about me okay <laughs> really this is just a chit chat because i'm just talking that's how you know i ain't talked to y'all a long time because i'm just i'm talking like y'all my friends but y'all are my friends even though there's not that many of y'all y'all are my friends <laughs> but um i keep smacking i'm sorry that's such a horrible habit i have of smacking my lips at <laughs> somebody walked past my window i'm just hoping they don't see me because like what do you what do you do do I just do we just sit and have a staring contest or do I wave like what do I do if the person just turned around because my blinds are kind of up so like you can if you look right here you can see my face <laughs> which is kind of creepy but don't look over here <laughs> I'm trying to think of what else to talk about ain't much to really talk about because I haven't really been doing it I don't know if this is true but apparently trump knew about this since last year and didn't say or do anything what the i mean i guess there's not really a lot that he can do but like you're the president like you couldn't i don't know i'm probably gonna cut this part out because it's controversial but i low-key <laughs> if y'all want to know my real thoughts about this corona stuff they probably gonna delete my video because they don't want this to get out it's a whole like theory <laughs> but i feel like this was planned <laughs> i feel like the i feel like trump and the government or whatever knew about this virus and knew like where it came from and found out last year and waited until this year and then release that out because i've been reading i've been doing a lot of research on this because i'm going to go into the medical field so like i'm interested and i'm not even getting ready and that's the whole point of this video but because i've been doing a lot of research and i've been reading about obviously like 
I don't know if it's 100% true because not everything you read is true. It could be made up. But um, the articles I've read is talking about how the people who first discovered Corona and was trying to make sure it didn't get out have disappeared. Like, what? <laughs> like, y'all were making people disappear because they were trying to let people know about this virus before it happened. It's a little bit. If, if that's true, that's a little bit fishy to me. Like, it seemed like a setup. <laughs> it seemed like a setup. And then I also read how there's like this theory of like how they did it to kind of lessen the amount of people, the population, because there's so many people in different areas. Because if you notice, there's more cases in the more populated areas, obviously, because there's more people there. So it's easier to spread around. So I also read something where they have this theory that they did it that way and had the virus like spread around in those areas to lessen the amount of people in those areas, which is really, really fucked up when you think about it. <laughs> That's really fucked up. Like, what kind of person <laughs> do you have to be to send out a deadly virus to the people, to your people? Well, not really his people, but you get what I'm saying. To send that virus out and kill people off because you because the popular there's too many people on the earth or too many people in the world. If that's true, that's fucked up. You have to be some type of fucked up to do something like that. But I'm gonna stop talking about this before they catch me. <laughs> I'm not trying to be caught, okay? I like where I'm at. <laughs> I'm good where I'm at. I have these little like small freckles that are coming out and they're so cute, really small. So like, obviously I can see them because they're on my face and I see it every day, but like, if you like looking at me right now, you can't see. It's just very unfortunate because like I'm lucky enough that the job I have is still paying us, but there's some people who like aren't getting paid. So like they have to worry about like rent and different stuff like that. And that's just crazy to me. And that just, that also makes me think like if this was really a setup, like if they really did this on purpose, I put people in a position to where they, can't like pay their bills and stuff. I don't, I don't know if it's true. I'm just, that's just a little theory, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so my video cut off because my boyfriend called me. I just do a little line for the sake of my mask. I'm trying to make sure you can't hear me because he's trying to sleep, but I just do. Get in the car. A small one just, just for the sake of mask got off. I have this old one. And what I do is I put, I like use it to kind of space my lashes out, if that makes sense. That way the mascara will go on them easier. Like, I don't know if you can like see a difference, but like I can. I hope this whole corona thing was like accidental and not a setup and I hope people don't come for me for thinking it's a setup. It's just the fact that like people are disappearing because they tried to like like stop the outbreak is just kind of blowing me but we'll never know because I highly doubt they're gonna tell us <laughs> if it's a setup or not. A little stint of like not being motivated. <laughs> Like after this started, just like everything, like with school videos, just everything. But like I said, we back on our shit, you feel me, okay? Decided I'm gonna use this time to better myself mentally, physically, and uh, not be a bum. Because when all this is over, all that time is gonna have passed. And what am I gonna have to show for it? I don't want to not have anything to show for it, like the for these months to pass and I haven't done anything, I haven't progressed. No, no, we're not doing that. We're gonna do our school work. We're gonna get up in the mornings, not sit in the bed all day because we gotta be active. Like, oh my. <laughs> I hate when this happens. <laughs> but yeah.
we're gonna take a walk the other day i literally took a walk i don't take walks <laughs> i literally took a walk because i wanted to get out of the house and it was so refreshing and it was such a pretty day it was like like 79 degrees outside the sun was out the wind was blowing like it was such a nice day i was so glad that i went outside it wasn't by people because nobody's fucking outside it was nice to get out there and just I'm gonna try and make it a point to get outside more and just just like we have these little areas over here where you can just sit down i don't know if i'm gonna sit down now because there's no telling who sat down there and who's touched the bench here we go with the glass we got the glass i usually use this one coconut oil but i got this one also to try i like this and it smells really good oh, oh, oh. i didn't do my combo wait a minute i have a whole combo that i do i put like a little bit of this on first which obviously i did not <laughs> this time because i forgot and then i take my fenty beauty gloss and fussy and I put it like, just like in the middle to give it like a pinkish kind of tint. And then boom, we, oh wait, no, we're not. We're not done, we're not done. I thought we was. <laughs> I thought we were, but we're not. We forgot, we forgot our, he's probably wondering, our in a corner highlight, sis. <laughs> Almost forgot about that. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared, I'm scared. Look at this. That's because I'll be doing like this. <laughs> Look, is my hair is growing back. That's what all that black is, but it don't look as bad as I thought it was gonna look. My little yellow head. <laughs> so we have reached the end of this get ready with me. I hope you guys enjoy. We <laughs> already know what to do when I would tell you anyway. Don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe if you like to see more of me. My baldness. Don't forget to follow my social media, which will be in the description down below and at the intro at the beginning. <laughs> No, let me redo that. Thank you guys for watching this uh, chit chat. Get ready with me slash life update slash how my quarantine is going. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more of me and my baldness. Don't forget to follow me on all my social medias, which will be in the description down below. And I will see y'all. Later.